Brown may be the new green during the drought, but that's not good when it comes to trees. And in the heat, it has turned into a deadly mix in one East Bay neighborhood. KPI x Don Ford says the lack of water has huge trees withering. Tree service companies in the Tri Valley are saying more and more severely stressed trees than ever before. Seeing dry leaves. Uh, a lot of dead trees. Roots are coming up to the surface because they're looking for water. It's the drought. So extreme that even once pampered pines are dying of thirst. This one, over 70 feet tall, dead. And now a hazard, says homeowner Peggy Ruth. Limbs begin falling off of them. Oh, yeah. And you can see the branches are all dead and hanging. Sure. This tree and another on the property will be removed. Once holding a grandkid swing, Soon, a pile of firewood. I'm sure there are other pine trees in town that are doing the same thing. It's not just pine trees. While no one's counted how many trees are in trouble, there are thirsty trees in every neighborhood. Japanese maples with withering leaves, birch trees with almost no leaves, and even some redwoods like this 50-footer, all stressed from lack of water. Tree expert Jason Beeman says, you can still save some with a special watering rod. I've seen those things at Home Depot. We put a hose, big old long thing, stick it deep exactly. in Exactly. Is that what you're talking about? Exactly, yeah. It may save a dying tree, but not those already dead. It's another reminder of the devastating drought hitting neighborhoods across the Bay Area. So it's just terrible for animals and nature and people. And people. <laughs> and the trees. And the trees. In Livermore, Don Ford, KPIX5. All right, you probably guessed this, not just Livermore. The U.S. Forest Service estimates the drought has killed more than 12 million trees statewide since last year, and that is just in the forest.